Hey, how's it going, you guys? We are currently in Nozomi's route right now, and we are hopefully getting towards the end here. It seems like we're starting to come to uh, the final buildup of the game, so I wanted to make sure that I had enough time to cover this episode. Uh, there might be another one, I'm not sure, but we are going to go ahead and see right now. The next day. As per Shiki-san's instructions, the entire staff showed up to work first thing in the morning. Hiyoshidani san and Suzune san, who have no idea what's going on, wear confused looks on their face. The three members of the Grim Reaper team, or so I called them, arrive. That is the very same one. No, the festival will proceed as originally planned. The girl's expressions changed from confusion to surprise. That's a good excuse. I like it. This is a lie, of course, but we need a way to persuade Hiyojidani san and Suzude san to help. Although I feel somewhat guilty, it's a lot easier than trying to convince them that the Grim Reapers and whatnot exist. はい。ですから、私たちが今日から全力で望みさんをサポートします。そのための緊急招集だ。住みぞめさんと高峰くんは前の奉納の準備を。そして、私たちも露店の出店をしたいと思ってます。That's a good idea cuz I'm going to get more uh, traffic to the cafe too. 出店って。え、今から? I don't see what's so crazy about that. そのためのメニューを考案してほしい。yeah, I think this is a good opportunity for both us and then obviously the shrine itself. I don't know, we, we have lots of stuff we could sell here. We could sell any kind of pastry. Suzune-san crosses her arms pensively. It's really that hard to come up with a menu? Well, I know we have like those little like strawberry tarts. I'm imagining those are big enough you could just hold them kind of like a muffin, right? Can we just sell something easy to eat while walking, like takoyaki or chocolate bananas? Yeah, maybe somebody else is going to be doing that. Let's do something a little more creative. Trendy sweets you can eat while walking. Something like ice cream, perhaps. It's the middle of winter right now. Yeah, we definitely want something that you can, like, kind of bake, and then it's kind of warm. That's true. To be awesome. Oh, you'll be fine. You're a shrine maiden. Well, I don't want to trade places with the other two girls. They were having some weird thoughts. <laughs> yeah, that'd probably be very embarrassing, though. <laughs> no. Hey, don't be even thinking about it. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't either, so let's not. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that would piss them off, and I'd probably die right there on the spot. They already hate me enough as is. We're trying to placate the red butterfly after all, not anger it. I'll help you out as much as I can, Nozomi. Please do this. I put my hands together and plead. I don't know, sometimes you make me wonder. Okay, let's go. 
Josephine's expression turned serious. Whew, I knew I could count on her. In that case, let's go practice at the shrine right away. Thanks for the help, everyone. Good luck with the stall prep. Josephine and I turned to the others and bow in gratitude. Alright, we got the whole group here. I like it. Everyone sends us off with a smile. Let's go, Nozomi. Taking each other's hands, we leave the cafe. Hey! Someone jealous? Yeah, it was pretty obvious. Amen, Mikado. Amen. Alright, you look ready. Nozomi comes running out onto the grounds after changing into her shrine maiden outfit. Incidentally, I'm here alone today. Her parents went to the hospital to check up on Rokuro-san's injury. Hey, I was watching a few dance videos while you were gone. The movements themselves don't actually look too complicated. There aren't any huge dynamic movements involved like a regular dance. You probably don't have to be particularly fit to perform them. Oh yeah, I've definitely had to like memorize some dances for like church events and stuff. So like I know all about that because it's like it's it's very hard even when you have a group of people like doing it with you. Yeah, and then she's doing the solo, so it's like yeah, all the focus is on her. Now that you mentioned it, the shrine maiden who comes here every year always performs super seriously too. Every single one of her movements had exuded grace and refinement. Well, I'd imagine she probably took it a lot more seriously than you, Nozomi. It didn't seem like this is really something you wanted to do, and it's probably something she did. So, I mean, I wouldn't blame yourself. Nozomi heaves a sigh as we watch the video on my phone together. That's what I remember doing. Watching a video on the phone and, like, practicing little movements at home, and then you get in a group and practice. Uh, except she doesn't have a group, so that sucks. But you gotta remember, she is one of the finest shrine maidens in the country. Comparing yourself to her won't do any good. Let's just try to learn these dance steps first. Don't worry about looking awkward. You'll gradually get used to it the more you practice. Yeah, you just kind of have to practice it in phases, right? Try to cheer Nozomi up before she starts thinking too negatively. Let's focus on doing what we can, alright? I give her head a few light pats. Well, you're already doing it wrong. You're not confident enough, okay, Nozomi? You gotta be like, I can do this. Sure, it's your first time, though, so take it easy. However... Well, frick, this is gonna be harder than we thought. <laughs> We're having a little bit of trouble here, guys. <laughs> Poor Nozomi san only made one mistake after another. The dance itself is about 5 minutes long, so why did it take 30 minutes to complete? What's more, 25 minutes of her were her messing it up. Well, yeah, of course. You're way too nervous. You gotta get everything perfect. You don't have to get everything perfect on the first try. I mean, she could always probably do it a little bit slower and take a little bit more time. It's, it's not like people are gonna be expecting a lot, because you're not the usual maiden. Oh my gosh. Well, everyone's going to be watching you, and you're probably going to have some pictures taken. <laughs> because you're so pessimistic. She begs me to kill her like some captured female knight. Come on, you're only doing this for work. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. All jobs are created equal. There's nothing more admirable than hard labor. I desperately cheer her on. <laughs> That's because you don't practice the whole thing right away. You practice one part of it, and uh, if, if there's, like, music, you go along with the music, you know? You you learn sections, okay? You don't just learn the whole thing. How about this? I'll start by yelling out instructions. All you have to do is follow what I say. Easy, right? First, take three steps forward. And then you need to slide to the left, slide to the right, and then you take it back now, y'all. Cha-cha real smooth.
She lets out a spirited battle cry as her heavy stomps echo throughout the shrine grounds. <laughs> Why is she practicing Kempo? You're putting too much force in your steps. You're trying. You're not trying to fill up your super gauge here. Do it more quietly, gracefully. Something still feels a little off, but I guess it's acceptable for now. Now stop there and ring your bells. <laughs> That's a little aggressive. Nozomi begins to jingle the bells attached to her dancer's fan in a 16-beat rhythm. No, not like that. Nozomi, wait, do it slower or quieter. It should ring up cleanly. <laughs> this is going to be harder than we thought, guys. You just got to get used to it. Well, anyways, next, keep ringing while spinning around clockwise three times. Um, that's a little too fast. I didn't, I didn't tell you to do a triple axle. Wait, why does she have to go all out, out, out of her way to do something even more difficult? Oh, she sounded like she was about to start flying up to the moon there. How about we take things from the top once more? All I can do is force a smile as I say that. This was shaping up to be a lot harder than I thought. Alright, this is much better. It's a lot calmer. I like it. I continue calling out instructions that knows me. It's to snap photos of her practicing with my phone. At long last, her moves are free from error. Why don't we take a break, Nozomi? Well, good. Nozomi immediately sinks down to the floor. It's hardly a surprise. With the exception of lunch, she's been moving her body around nonstop all day. Here, have a drink. I woke up to her and bend down, offering her a bottle of juice. <laughs> the way she pronounces it still sounds like Fanta. <laughs> You've been sweating a lot, so I thought you'd want something cold. Remember, I left to buy a few things earlier. Well, you were concentrating pretty hard. Anyways, drink up. Gosh, have you guys seen the comparisons of what Fanta looks like here in the U.S. compared to other places? Like, Fanta is probably one of the worst drinks you can drink here in America because it's just full of, of like, artificial dyes, flavor, and then it has a ton of sugar compared to, like, any other soda. Like, soda in general here has an absurd amount of sugar, but especially Fanta. Like, just anything fruity like that that's, like, an artificial drink. Terrible. But I've seen what it looks like in other countries, and I'm like, wow, that actually looks like something you'd want to drink. It's just kind of like a fruity drink, but it's not like crazy over, over the top sugary, right? Just I'm disappointed in America. We we need everything so like over the top. She happily chugs her juice next to me. She smells faintly of sweat, but it isn't unpleasant in the least. If anything, the scent puts me at ease. I like being next to her. Ah crap, my heart's starting to race again. Hmm, what? She suddenly hands me the plastic bottle. She holds out the half-finished Fanta orange to me, ordering me to drink. No, I'm good. She continues to hold out the bottle towards me, but are you sure? You don't mind me indirectly kiss- Shut up! Just shut up. Stop. No, no, I'm not really. That is to say, I can't deny the possibility that I may or may not have thought about it. Alright, knows me. I'll give you that one. That was good. That wasn't enough to trick her, I guess. I mean, hasn't it crossed your mind at least once? I expected this from May, okay? But Kose, why are you mentioning this? Nobody cares. Her face turns a light shade of pink as she answers me. Weird how it never used to bother us when we were young, though. But not anymore. We've known each other forever, but we're not kids anymore. It's impossible for our relationship to stay the way it used to. That's just growing up, guys. Small shadow seems to pass over her face. But still, I want to stay with you, even if that means changing our relationship. Okay. Yes, yes, keep going. Her eyes grow misty. I gulp, swallowing hard. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Rokuro, I'm trying to do what you want me to do. You want me to get engaged to your daughter, but hey, 
you are causing problems. You need to go away. <sighs> the sound of Rokuro-san's voice drowns out the rest of my words. I jump up, feigning shock, and putting some space between myself and Nozomi. <sighs> Rokuro, like, I'm glad to be having this conversation. You know, it's nice. You know, I'm, I'm glad we can continue the festival. But really, could you have picked a worse time? Yeah, yeah, okay, we're happy to. I, I don't think that means she's gonna keep doing it, okay? Despite his crutches, Rogoro-san looks ready to skip of joy. <laughs> yeah, no. Nope, she didn't say that. Josephine immediately corrects her father. No, it won't. <laughs> he was just so excited. Yeah. Nozomi lends her father her shoulder to help him inside. I guess it's about time for dinner. Alright, let's end practice here for today, Nozomi. I'll come again tomorrow. Sorry for the intrusion, Rogoro-san. I gather up my things and stand up. No, I'd feel bad eating here all the time. Anyways, I better get going. The truth is, I really don't want to eat Nozomi's cooking, but mostly I just want to get out of here as soon as possible. Like failed confession earlier, still traumatizing me. See you tomorrow. Take care, Rogoro-san. Half running away, I quickly flee the scene. It's true, though. It's very true. Just kick one of his crutches. He is a coward, though. But hey, to be fair, the moment was ruined, so there's not much he could have done to fix that. It wasn't his fault. Like, I'm actually going to defend him. Good morning. The next morning, I stop by the cafe to see how the preparations for the street stroll are coming along. But the moment I open the door, I freeze in my tracks. <laughs> they fall asleep here? They're all just sleeping and talking about calories. The bodies of three women lay strewn across the couch. No, wait, they're just sleeping. Listening to Hio Jidani san mumble in her sleep is so cliche, it's almost comical. What the hell happened here? I point to the three unconscious girls. Ooh, we're making crepes. Ooh, we're gonna make that chocolate banana one. Nikido peeks out his face from behind Akazuki-san. But there wasn't any need to stay up all night, was there? Well, we don't work with a, a group of reasonable people, okay? I think we've established that. Alright, I like it. Suzune-san, who apparently awoken in the meantime, stands up sluggishly. Oh my gosh. Though she moves like a zombie, there's a fiery glint in her eye and a fearsome smile on her lips. If she's holding a knife instead of a crepe spatula, she'd be the very picture of some crazed serial killer. So adorable. The more nyang. <laughs> Sounded like she was trying to make that cat sound, like the nyan. Roused by the noise we're making, Shiki san and Hio Chidani san slowly get up as well. They can hardly finish greeting me without yawning, though. Guess they're both still half asleep. Don't overdo it, guys. The festival's tomorrow. This will be our first time opening a street stall outside. <laughs> Well, did you manage to do that? Seems like they've been having a much tougher time than I thought. I'll have to express my gratitude to them once again when this is all over. Alright, let's try it. Chocolate and banana, eh? I mean, I would bet. Let's have a bite. 
The aroma of the freshly made crepe tickles my nostrils. I take a bite. The bananas and cream, each with their own distinct sweetness, harmonize exquisitely with the bitterness of the dark chocolate. Oh, please don't. I I'm, I'm starting to get hungry. Ugh. I haven't had much to eat today. That sounds divine. Must be the best crepe I've ever had. Before I realize it, I've wolfed down the entire thing. Zune <laughs> san smiles proudly. How does something with such simple ingredients taste this good? I really can't thank her enough for all she's done. She's finally got the dance memorized, I think. We're just going to spend the rest of the day polishing up her moves. She hands me a paper bag. Inside are four servings of crepes and hot coffee. Oh, crepes sounds so good. Thank you, and let me thank you guys for on Nozomi's behalf, too. I bow deeply. All right, I'll see you guys later. Okay, well then stop crying and stuffing your face at the same time. When I arrive at the shrine, I quickly distributed the crepes and coffee to Nozomi's family. Nozomi and I decide to sit outside and eat, treating this as our breakfast. We better work hard today too so we don't let the other's efforts go to waste. <laughs> Nozomi swallows the rest of her crepe before putting on her game face. So tomorrow, after I finish my shift at the stall, I'll come and help you prepare for the dance. Until then, you just continue practicing while on standby. Sound good? I think that's fair. She could help out at the stall beforehand. If she doesn't want to mess up, surely it'd be better for her to spend her remaining time practicing. Yeah, no, you don't want to, like, practice every little second up until that point, because you don't want to, like, exhaust yourself. It's good to, like, mentally get yourself out of that so that when you do go to dance, you can get mentally self, self back in, you know? You gotta give your mind a little bit of a break. She anxiously peers up at me. Her face was really close. Crap, my heart's pounding again. Uh, all right, fine, we'll do that. You and I work at the stall until 3 o'clock, then we'll go over the dance steps one final time. After that, it'll be time for your performance. I seek rapidly, averting my blushing face. I speak rapidly. <laughs> Alright, sounds like a plan. Okay. She gives him a right hand squeeze. God, it's so soft and smooth. Heartbeat, rising. Uh, um, anyways, nosebleed son, let's get practicing. <laughs> Try my best to feign calmness. Right now, my focus should be making the dedication dance tomorrow a success. Okay, that won't be hard. Nozomi rises to her feet. Perhaps it's only my imagination, but her mannerisms seem much more graceful than yesterday. Much more shrine maiden-esque. Without a word, she takes several steps forward. Her feet make no sound. Even if she continues to walk, the grounds too have fallen deathly silent, mimicking her. Her bells ring out clearly. Once, twice, three times. I don't know why, but I feel my heart being deeply stirred. Huh? Oh, uh, before I knew it, the dance was over. Beside me is Nozomi staring at me worriedly. Uh, sorry, I was, I was spacing out. I was thinking about how cute, I mean, cute you are. I was definitely not thinking about the other one. The other shrine maiden. Yep, nope. Wasn't me. It was great. You didn't make a single mistake. It was much, much better than yesterday. In fact, I was downright entranced. This must be a pretty easy dance if you can learn it in, like, a day. Relieved? Uh, that is something we did promise, yes. Her words make my pulse rise sharply again. Dang, I can't take much more of this. At this rate, you're seriously going to make me fall in love with you. That I already have. Okay. 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 
Just kidding. I'm, <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. This is the Fist of the North Star reference, actually, but oh well. Never seen that. So, unfortunately, I will not get that one. Oh, is Fist of the North Star? Is that where, um... Is that where the aura thing comes from? I know that's, like, mostly a JoJo reference, but didn't, like, Fist of the North Star... No, Fist of the North Star, isn't that where the Omaiwa Mo Shinru, Shinderu comes from? I'm trying to remember, because, like, the or or thing, I think, is from JoJo. Or at least that's where, like, became popular, I believe. I don't know. Then she begins to dance. Right now, I feel incredibly proud of her. This beautiful shrine maiden is one of my oldest, dearest friends. As soon as her bell stops ringing, Nozomi gives the Shinza, the divine seed, a quiet bow. All at once, the pleasant air of tension is released. Incredible. To my untrained eye, at least, it appeared as if the dance had been performed by a genuine shrine maiden. It's unbelievable how much she's improved over the course of a single day. You were amazing. Seriously. Bravo. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I think we mean it. If you want, you can watch the video I took and see for yourself. I'll just do it. He pops down next to me. Side by side, we stare at the screen of my phone together. See? Pretty good, right? <laughs> Absolutely not. She shoots down my suggestion at the speed of light. <laughs> What's the big deal? He's gonna see your dance tomorrow anyways. <laughs> What? Come on now. I think that would qualify as domestic abuse. Probably. What do you mean, probably? It's not very reassuring. Hiochidani san appears, waving towards us. Hey, you guys finished preparing for the stall already? She hands us white paper bags. Roast sweet potatoes, huh? That's what my mom used to make, and I... I'm not a sweet potato person. Oh, that's nice of you. I was just starting to get a little hungry. Nozomi's air of solemn dignity from before quickly vanishes. In an instant, she's brought back to her usual bright and cheerful self. Yeah, she'll be fine. She, I mean, she's she's gotten really good. So, I mean, I, I said that kind of jokingly, but, like, genuinely, I think she she's going to be doing great. She, she's fine. She comes from a long line of Shinto priests, so she's got a real knack for this sort of thing. <laughs> Power of love, huh? Sure. It's all thanks to her own hard work. She might have struggled a lot yesterday, but there were barely any mistakes for me to point out today. Yeah? Never. Because, you know, that's what we do. We delay it to the very last possible second. What? Or I'm not really... I falter. Seriously, how? I mean, he knows it too. Like, he knows that he's in love with her. Women sure are sharp when it comes to these things. Hmm? Wait a minute. Does that mean Nozomi knows how I feel about her too? Only a probably, eh? Well, fine, if I have to do it, you know, I guess we will. I mean, I want him to, but... Hiochidani san smacks me on the knee. Hmm, I mean, I was planning to. By taking the one final step isn't easy. That said, I can't keep on maintaining the status quo forever, either. Knows me. I've been meaning to tell you this, and hopefully we won't get interrupted this time, you know. But we probably will, because that's 
that's how it goes in these type of games. I... <laughs> and then May just interrupts us. <laughs> that was what would happen. Those of returns carrying a tray with three cups of tea. Oh, no, May, okay. I, I didn't know you were interested in such things. But, you know, I'm an older gentleman. I could teach you those things. You know, Kosei is, is somewhat experienced. Kind of, not really. But I'm sure he could teach you something. Stop being so misleading. <laughs> Nasty predator. She kicks me in the back with her socked feet. Ow, ow, it's not what you're thinking, Hio Chidani san tell her. <laughs> She's just laughing at us getting beaten up. Don't just stand there and laugh. Hey, Nozomi, if she is thinking impure things too, go kick her. Not a masochist. But in the end, I'm still at a loss. Am I really going to be able to work up the courage to confess to Nozomi? We should propose right after her dance. Will that happen? Absolutely not. Because we, have, we haven't even been dating yet. Ooh, it's time. A body gently sways to and fro. Almost like I'm being rocked in a cradle. How soothing. <laughs> I feel something soft and smooth tapping my cheek. What is that? It feels good. Yes. That is what he wants. That is absolutely what he wants. Do it. Go ahead, I dare you. I swear, if this is his dad again... Getting a strange sense of deja vu in the instant a, deep, a deeply unpleasant memory comes flashing back to me. Ah! Whoa. Whoa. My field of vision suddenly filled with Nozomi's face. What's more, the sensation on my lips. We're kissing. Wait, what? I'm kissing Nozomi? The moment I awoke, our lips had collided head on. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, we'll just move away from him. It's not hard to get out of a kiss, guys. Only my sense I pull myself back. Okay. We finally had our first kiss, guys. We did it. Th that's the end of the game. Cafe Stella is over. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Just kidding. <laughs> Y'all already know what type of game this is. They do a lot more than kissing in it. Blushing by red, she places a hand over my chest. I'm sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to. I was still half asleep and I thought you were my... Kosei! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I had to, felt like I had to throw up right there. That it would. While still red in the face, she smiles. Are you upset at me, Nozomi? She gives it some thought. That you did. Now what about me? Don't act like this guy would be upset. No, of course not. If anything, this feels like the last lucky break I'm going to have this year. So thank you for the treat. I put my hands together and bow deeply. <laughs> Nozomi doesn't seem the slightest bit upset. That's a relief. I don't know what I'd do if she started crying or something. But I suppose it was an accident from her point of view, so she probably doesn't count as a real kiss. I would count it. I think it counts. Um... Okay. I can try. I don't know what that means, but... During my hand, she pulls me out of bed. Oh, that's right. Today's the day of the Shrine Maiden Festival. I better wash my face and wake myself up. But as I turn on the faucet, a sudden thought occurs. It'd be a bit of a shame to wash my lips so soon. You'll have plenty of time to kiss her, okay? <laughs> the Shrine grounds are lined with stalls, bustling with activity. Nevertheless, Nozomi's voice carries clearly through the air. 
お守りを売ったりするでしょそのために着替えていたら大変であろう。合理と客引き効果を考えて、のぞみさんはクレープ売りの巫女ということで。あ、そうそう。のぞみさんには客寄せパン。もとい、客寄せ巫女にぜひ。ファンドさんだぜよ。Way to tell it like it is, Akazuki san. ひど、私商業利用されるの。Yes. Yes, we are, like any good business would do. I, I would think Kosei Kun is the one advocating for this the most. Not a lawyer. Nozomi and I both look at Hiochidani san. どうやら犯人は言い忘れたようです。Wait, when did May become a detective? The culprit, that's you! I slap her on the shoulder playing the bit. ひどいよ、メイちゃん知ってたら昨日のうちにコウセイ君とコモガクレしたのに Hey, it's not too late. We could do that tonight. Whoa, 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 let's not get too carried away here. I'm not about to run away from home over something that silly. さあ、のぞみさん。ミコフクを着てクレープを売って。Yes. Oh my gosh. You're literally gonna do the whole dance later. Like, everyone's gonna be watching. Yuchidani san tries to persuade her. Good idea, the power of friendship will surely. That is true, we did promise that. Wait one second. Don't go around saying that without my permission. I, whoa, 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 that wasn't the deal here? Does me furrows her brows pensively. But now you'll consider it. I don't know, Natsumi. You had some pretty interesting ideas, I believe. Hey, shut up. I do have feelings, you know. No, you don't. のぞみさん、どうしますどうしても嫌なら、そのままでもいいですけど。No, she should do it. コウセイ君はどう思う ?You'll definitely attract a lot of customers. I think you should wear it. コウセイ君が一生童貞でいられるように、私、お百度参りするね。Hey, hey, hey, hey. That wasn't part of the deal, okay? This is supposed to be a place where we, like, bless people, and, you know, like, have good thoughts going into the new year, not cursing me. Please don't. I feel like the gods might actually listen to you, Nozomi. The truth is, you make an adorable shrine maiden. That's why I want you to wear it. As I accidentally let my true feelings slip, she suddenly turns bright red from the neck up. Oops. What the hell did I just say? The others are standing right there. I, uh, uh, wait, wait. I take that back and I mean to say that out loud. That's what we've done this entire game. We're always saying something stupid and getting ourselves into trouble. That's just how it goes, you know? Nozomi covers her mouth with her hands, trembling. Even her ears have turned red. She wriggles in embarrassment. <laughs> Everyone's just like, ah, oh, please spare us. Gosh, Suzune is so jealous. Holy crap. Can't wait to get to her route. We'll finally give her the, the love and attention she deserves. Chiki san and Suzune san glare scornfully at me. Okay, well, that's what we'll do. He then dashes off towards the shrine in high spirits. Apparently. 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 Well, let's do it. Alright, alright. I mean, I got nothing better to do. Oh. At last, the Shrine Maiden Festival is in full swing. That said, the Aka... The Aka... The Akaiwa Shrine isn't a particularly famous shrine or anything like that. Although it's never so busy that you have to line up to pray at the temple. 
Oh my gosh. Business is booming. There's even a line starting to form outside our stall. Gosh, yeah, this is gonna take us a while, guys. Suzune san is baking crepes as fast as she can. It's my job to add the cream, bananas, and chocolate toppings. Hey, I'm not experienced doing this, okay? I haven't practiced it. That's not my fault. I'm a total novice when it comes to making crepes. If I start rushing things, the quality is going to go down. So why are we getting so many customers? Nice. Collaboration today only. すみぞめのぞみのみこすがたとクレープの画像をアップしたら効果的面だ。There is this like a Kansai accent? my brother. Okay. Yes, Nozomi, it's very, very cute. <laughs> Josh, we got the. The terrible English just reminds me of Professor Leskinen from Steins Gate Zero. Shri Dokuwa Shrine Maidens. <laughs> uh, I loved him. He was so excited about Shrine Maidens. It just means there are people all over from the country here. Some of them even straight up seem like foreigners. That's true, absolutely. Mikita looks rather pleased with himself. Yes, yes, good job. Now stop gloating and help me wrap these crepes. With how busy things are, I need all the help I can get. No, we're chilling. That is true. Uh, no. <laughs> I was gonna I was just gonna agree with her, but no. <laughs> Couldn't give me a better backstory than that. Uh I'm trying to, okay? With deft hands, Suzune san continues producing crepe after crepe, incredibly thin, but never burnt. With blinding speed. Fine, I'll have to go all out too. It's time I showed you the true power of a crepe wrapping king. Aha! I concentrate everything I have into my fingers. Cream, banana, dark chocolate. With both speed and precision, I place each ingredient on top of the other. And I fold as I pray. Unlimited crepe works. Is that a, um... Is that a reference to a certain anime studio? Nozomi-san's <laughs> Well, stop being so teasable then. The girls seem to be having fun, laughing and giggling. Why well, what what I wouldn't give in to join give to join in. But as a cre ap cre crepe crepe wrapping king, I have to keep my eyes focused and my hands moving. Darn it. Nozomi-san, the two girls promptly resume handing out crepes. Finally, I can concentrate again. Suzune-san glances over at me as she bakes more crepes. I'm really not. I also answer her as I continue to rap. Well, I mean, we have been working at the cafe, so I feel like making food, we should be able to learn it pretty quickly. Huh. That's an idea. <laughs> okay. Hey, come on, we're married now. Why do you still keep calling me Kosei-kun? Uh, 
Nope. I don't like this. You're not zero two. You're not allowed to say that. So cute, my sweet honey. Honey poo. <laughs> Me too. Aw, uh, having a newlywed waitress is the best. Everything about that I hated. <sighs> Ouch, what am I doing here? Nose me pulls on my ear, snapping me out of my revere. Uh, I wasn't imagining this marriage. Nope, it wasn't me. Uh, yes, ma'am. I'll get right to it. Pouting knows me heads back towards the stall. Sorry, I'll try to focus. Time to get back to work. Our stall is practically besieged by customers. According to Mikita, we're making so much profit, it's more than enough to cover the losses from closing the cafe today. Nice. <laughs> a shrine maiden cafe. A shrine maiden cafe. Now there's an idea. Alright guys, I think it's it's getting close. We're getting close to the, the shrine maiden dance here. I thought it was happening at 3. Why is it so dark? The sun is beginning to set, and we're half an hour away from the dedication dance ceremony. Our crepes have completely sold out. By now, I'm already exhausted. I would say so. You didn't have to keep working after we told you you could stop. I look beside me and knows me with some concern. Well, hopefully not everything. I hope you haven't forgotten how the dance goes, at least. Yeah, I think you can do, like, just a few practice runs. Uh, I hope not. The other girls form a circle around Nozomi, offering her words of encouragement one by one. Well, let's do your best, Nozomi. Overcome with emotion, Nozomi looks to be on the verge of tears. I place the flat of the palm gently on top of my head. You ready to get going, Nozomi? For the sake of the Aikawa Shrine everyone, and everyone who prays here, ask the gods to bless us all with good fortune in the coming year with your dance. Alright, I like it. Illuminated by the setting sun, her expression gives off a much more mature vibe than usual. It's a smile filled with compassion like that of a mother's. Alright, we'll see you later. Waving goodbye, Nozomi and I make our way towards her house. Uh oh, what are you something? Nozomi-san, この神社全体の空気も変わった。ずっと見張られていましたからね。でもどうして何も仕掛けてこなかったんでしょうか。ずっとミハラレていましたからね。でも、どうして何も仕掛けてこなかったんでしょうか。ずっと見張られていましたから
Knows me moves her face next to mine to look at the screen. It's a video taken of her best attempt at the dance yesterday. Her face was really close. Close enough that I can feel every breath. She smells sweet. It isn't the sugary smell of crepes or other sweets. It's the smell of knows me herself, the scent of a woman. Uh, apparently something you don't know much about, huh? My pulse begins to rise involuntarily. I try to feign calm and mask my excitement. I'm being stupid. This isn't the time for these kinds of thoughts. Knows me trying her best here. For her sake, I need to do the same. Hmm, yeah, you do seem to be rushing a bit. Also, after that, it might be better if you ring your bells a little slower. Still, don't let this hurt your confidence. You're already an amazing shrine maiden. <laughs> You're fine. There aren't any qualifications to be a shrine maiden. It's all about how, the, how others perceive you and how you perceive yourself. At the very least, you'll always be the shrine maiden of Aikawa shrine to me. Oh, that was kind of romantic. She smiles. Oof, she's just too cute. I can feel my pulse rising again. Crap, don't let it show on your face, Kosei. Well, sometimes. Surely, surely you mean the other way around. Nozomi wakes me up every morning and even makes breakfast, too. I definitely owe her more than she owes me. I ended up getting my butt kicked, though. Well, Nozomi was unharmed, it isn't a particularly proud memory of mine. Well, once you've learned something, it's pretty easy to teach other people. My halfway decent grades are about the only thing I've got going for me anyways. Yeah, I guess. Why are you crying, Nozomi? I didn't even do anything. What did I do? Oh well, yeah, she made me cookies, so... Then how come you aren't making me cookies? I just went to give her some handouts from school. Noko-chan had a cold, so she had to miss class. We're not even in elementary school yet. Gosh. This is hurting my ears. <laughs> so she remembers me comforting her, huh? Doesn't seem like she remembers what she was crying about, though. Nozomi straightens up. Alright, show them what you're made of. <laughs> I can't speak for everyone else, but I promise I won't. Whatever happens, I'll be by your side, Nozomi. Even without ever real without even realizing it, my hand had naturally reached out to pat her on the head. She burrs her head softly into my chest. Oh, okay, so she does remember. Okay. We'll do it. With that, Nozomi dashes out of her room, almost like she's running away. My promise. Which promise did she mean? That is me. Oh, sorry, I know I'm on Nozomi's route, but you look so adorable in that outfit. Among the crowd of visitors, I managed to spot the others who have changed out of their work clothes. She's feeling good and confident. As long as she does what we practice, she'll be fine. The moment I say this, a crowd begins to murmur excitedly. Gosh, this makes people who speak English sound so dumb. Lintalo, where's the shrine maidens? Yes, no, Tommy, it's perfect. <laughs> well, okay then. Nozomi steps up from within the shrine. She gazes around serenely at the gathered onlookers before giving a slight bow. No matter how you slice it, this is a real bona fide shrine maiden. Though not quite in the level of the shrine princess who comes every year, there's still a tangible aura of authenticity surrounding Nozomi. Not that that comes as a surprise. She's Aikawa Shrine's one true maiden, after all. 
The bells on her fan ring out pleasantly. In that moment, the murmurs of the crowd fall silent. Then the, with a the flowing movement, Snow's me begins to dance. Every chime seems to reverberate in my chest. <laughs> I didn't know she was saying stuff of it, too. Reciting the ancient Amatsu Norito, Nozumi prays to the gods in solemn tones. She prays for all of us to be blessed with good health in the coming year. I stand there, transfixed. She's so beautiful. You're incredible, Nozumi. That doesn't catch the gods' attention that I doubt anything will. With one final chime of her bells, the dance ends. A quiet stillness settles over the shrine, as if everyone had collectively forgotten how to breathe. Turning to face the crowd once more, Nozomi gives one last bow, and then... Whoa. I like how it's the girl that really wants to marry her. I think that's very funny. <laughs> right, my brother. <laughs> yes, yes, Nozomi is Totoi. Yes! I don't even know what that means. Maybe it's just the way he's saying it. All at once, the stillness is shattered as the shrine erupts with cheers and applause. What a performance. I can see why everyone is so excited. Mikido creeps up beside me without a sound, as expected of a cat. Awesome. That's terrific news. I'm glad we managed to resolve this before the end of the year. We have a sigh of relief. Oh no, I would, but this is this is Nosumi's route. We have to give her her due time, okay? You know, you can't just be inviting me out on dates like this. I part ways with Akazuki and Mikado and set off at a quick pace. I want to see her. I want to see Nozomi as soon as possible. Oh, please confess. Gosh, and Rokuro was just like beaming. He's so proud. <laughs> Now, now, Nozomi. Alright, up, up. Nozomi and I pass the time in her rooms playing cards. Still a little too early to go to the cafe. Sweet, I win. <laughs> My guy, this is not the time to be playing cards. This is when you're supposed to be making your move, okay? And then you're gonna have your, your nice kiss at midnight. That's what I'm expecting is gonna happen. But you need to be making some power moves here. Nozomi puffs out her cheeks. That's because you've got a terrible poker face. Yeah, I can't see Kosei having a good one either. Me? He does do that. Yeah, right. I don't know who these people are. So much for those 10 wins, now Nozomi has seized the upper hand. Alright, alright, I get it. I beg her to stop. I've never even ma managed to confess to any of those girls. Perhaps. Who's asking? My body temperature instantly shoots up at those words. Crap, my face is on fire. Nozomi's gonna find out that I... No, she already knows. Okay, this is good. This is good, guys. Okay. I wonder if she's gonna ask us to marry her. Like, not not at this, like, moment. Like, we're not gonna be officially engaged, but, like, in the future, you know? Because that was her original thing she wanted. Finally come to this. You're an idiot talking to me. Kosei, real time for you to man up. 
Please go out with me, Nozomi. Before Nozomi can confess to me, I confess to her. That was close. I almost didn't make it. The two of us stand and hold each other at the same time. Sorry it took me so long. Hey, to be fair, we got interrupted, okay? It wasn't our fault. Sorry, I just couldn't find the right... No, scratch that. That's a lie. The truth is I was too comfortable with relationship with childhood friends. I was scared of ruining what we had. I hated the thought you might have to stop being friends with you. We were too close for me to say it. Too close for me to tell her that I love her. <laughs> a little bit. She puts her arms around my back, giggling. I pull her soft body into an even deeper embrace. I had no idea she was so slender. Who knew a girl's bodies were this delicate? There's a hint of bewilderment in Nozomi's voice. Before I'd even realized my member had st Why do you have to ruin this moment? Why? Even Nozomi noticed it. Not cool, Kosei. Not cool. Look you let go of Nozomi. It's not what you think, Nozomi-san. I wasn't having any dirty thoughts or anything like that. Plus, I tried to explain myself. This is why women are so hard to understand. It's like, you, you criticize me for having these thoughts, and then when I do have them now, or I don't have them, now you're wondering why I don't. What do you want? But of course you are, ridiculously so. I emphasize fiercely. She cross-examines me. I was having dirty thoughts, yes. No point in trying to hide it anymore. I'm not saying I want to do it right now or anything. I love you, Nozomi, so I want to take things slow. So until you're prepared. Okay. That is true. You do. Uh, I suppose. Okay. Um, this was a very, very sudden. Well, I stand there dumbfounded. Nozomi leaves the room. What's happening? I left to wait alone in her room. Where did she go and to do what? What does she mean, get ready? Get ready for what? Okay. Just letting you guys know if anything lewd happens. I'm gonna have to cut it out, okay? Around 20 minutes later, Nozomi returns, blushing from head to toe. She's wearing her shrine maiden outfit. I can only stare. As I watch, Nozomi sits down, Seiza style, in front of me. <laughs> Pressing three fingers of each hand to the floor, she bows. Wait, what are you doing, Nozomi? You make it sound like this is our wedding night. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Then why are you wearing a shrine made in clothes? Okay, I'll allow it. Dang, okay, no, it's me. Aren't you skipping a few steps here? We only just started going out, now all of a sudden we're married. Aren't things moving a little too fast? Might as well have a kid at this point. Blushing, she claps her hands together. I can't believe this is really happening. She knows just what kind of stuff I'm into, but at the same time, I don't want to admit it to her either. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on a minute, knows me, son. We can save that for later once we're married, okay? School uniform would have been really cute, though. Do you think we're taking things too fast? I mean, to be fair, they've known each other for a long time, but... Still, so, normally you'd start by going on a date or something first, right? Well, I guess that's true. Now that she mentioned it, but no, still. We haven't even kissed yet. Yeah, they did. Yeah, like... That didn't count, did it? Yeah, exactly. Slowly running out of excuses to give her, but I really do... 
but do I really have any reason to refuse to begin with? Yeah, but that just happens with guys, okay? Like... She suddenly steps forward, peering into my face. Her large, clear eyes stare fixedly into mine. So much pressure, but it's also rather adorable. This combined with the smell of her soapy fragrance is too much for me. Are you sure about doing it with me? Oh. Uh, no promises. After saying that, she presses herself into my chest. I will, but just so you know, it's my first time, too. I'm probably not very good at this, so I apologize in advance if I'm not able to make you feel good. <sighs> yeah, your first time will... It's generally pretty awkward. Like, just let it happen. She suddenly kisses me without warning, but I quickly respond with my own. Let's move this to the bed. It's always awkward to watch this, especially when I'm being recorded. Feels really weird. <laughs> Hey, a time skip. It's the New Year's bell. Oh, wow, it's later than I thought. Those me and I are still cuddling in her room when the shrine's bell clanged, ringing in the New Year. Oh, we didn't even go to the cafe. I'd like to sleep together tonight, but then your parents would definitely find out about us. I mean, we practically have the father's blessing already. You think they'll approve of me dating you? Most likely. Come on, you'll catch a cold if you sleep without any clothes on. That was quick. She sure knows how to fall asleep easily. Guess I'll stay a bit longer before leaving. Phew, what a day. Sloan craves with knows me watching her dance, making her my girlfriend and consummating our relationship. Hmm? Doesn't I'm forgetting something important, though. Yeah, they're probably just like, what the heck? They dipped. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> hey, you gotta start the new year with a bang, right? How wrong you would be. Happy New Year. Oh, Nozomi, morning. My new girlfriend shakes me awake at the very first morning of the New Year. I open my eyes to see Nozomi's face smiling down at me. Ah, it really is her. I quickly move to get up, but change my mind, grabbing her hand and pulling her towards me instead. Oh, I pull my adorable girlfriend in the bed. So cute today, Nozomi. I hug her close and rub her head, nuzzling my cheek against her. I love you, Nozomi. I'm going to treasure you for the rest of my life. Squeaky bed, love and peace. <laughs> What's wrong? You didn't seem to mind cuddling last night after we- Wait, what? <laughs> Did this dude finally show up? <laughs> this dude. Uh, my dad is sitting in front of me wearing a smug grin on his face. He must have thought that he was a real knee slapper. What are you doing here? And you have to pick now of all times. Jump right out of bed. You could at least announce your presence. <laughs> I'm calling the police. Freaking rip. My dad takes the phone out from his pocket. Don't. I snatch the phone out of his hands. I'd rather not get hauled off to jail first thing on New Year's Day. Hey, to be fair, 
it was more of her forcing herself on me, okay? Nozomi blushes, fidgeting with embarrassment. So cute. What a sight to see on the first day of the new year. Yeah, the truth is, we've started dating. I finished her sentence for her, saying it plainly and clearly. What? It's not a joke. You don't believe me? <laughs> yes, I know. I can hardly believe it myself. <laughs> Nozomi smiles next to me. Nozomi bows her head to my dad. <laughs> She's just like, okay, I thought you guys were going to do this a long time ago. Nozomi's trying to be serious here. I'm standing right here, you know. Hey, be nice! Oh my gosh. Well, you know, we, we can talk about this, okay, Nozomi? I was only kidding, obviously. Truth be told, I'm the type of guy who wants to take care of my girl. I'll take full responsibility, Nozomi. I won't. I don't even know what those are. I look at the table to see a bunch of stacked jum jumbako boxes and a steaming nabe pot. The savory smell of dashi wafts faintly through the air. My dad eagerly sits down by the kotatsu. I mean, it's been like, what, like a few weeks? <laughs> Yeah, but I'd rather be spending New Year's alone with my girlfriend, though. These are my honest feelings. She gives me a back, a shove towards the bathroom. Hey, stop eating without us. I scrub my face while, while yelling at my dad to put down his chopsticks, but he ignores me. Oh, okay. Well, that's the goal. By the time Nozomi and I arrive at the table, my dad is already weeping tears of joy from her cooking. There's barely any osachi left for us. Hey, I'm right here. <laughs> I'll talk about my girlfriend like she's a rare card in some mobile game. <laughs> what kind of metaphor is that anyways? That's true. Those me smiles handing me a bowl of ozoni. I accept it gratefully. Hmm, this is great. What kind of dashi is this? Okay. Those me beams happily as she watches me eat. I can't believe my cute girlfriend is serving me such an elaborate home cooked meal on New Year's Day. This has to be the height of norminess. I'm in heaven. <laughs> It'd be better without this guy here, though. <laughs> yeah, screw this guy. While Nozomi is busy refilling my dad's bowl, he whispers quietly so that only I can hear. Okay, thanks, Dad. <laughs> I won't. He chuckles, patting me on the shoulder. Why are all of a sudden you acting like a father trying to flatter his new daughter-in-law? A little too soon for that. I would say so. Alright, I'll wait here. After breakfast, the two of us make our way to Nozomi's house. New Year is the busiest and most profitable day for the shrine. Naturally, this means that Nozomi as a shrine maiden has to work today as well. Since the dedication dance had been successfully completed yesterday, we've also packed up our stall. And so, as Nozomi's boyfriend, I offered to help her around the shrine. That said, I can't exactly take Rokuro-san's place as head priest. Maybe I'll just sweep the corners and stuff. Ah, hello, Kana. Hi, Natsumi. 
Yeah, sorry about bailing last night. Um, I had something come up, you know? Something just stood up on its own, and that was that. Uh, oh, sorry. It completely slipped my mind. Crap, I promised to eat New Year's Sobo for everyone at the cafe, then just left them hanging. That wouldn't be far off. <laughs> Whoops, we actually did spend the night together. Please forgive us. I say a solemn apology in my mind. Huh? Wait a minute. How did you know Nozomi and I started dating? Oh, okay. I suppose. Oh, hi. How's it going? Well, I guess this game's gonna take a little bit longer. I, I just assumed we were going towards the end, but it seems like we were going towards just an event. I have no idea how much longer like this this ending is going to be because I, I just I don't know and there's not really any other videos on YouTube for like I'll, I'll do that sometimes I'll go look up like oh here's how much more to the end right yeah there the, I don't think there is any I'm like the only one who I think on YouTube has gone this far shrine maiden version returns offering everyone a cheerful greeting <laughs> Hiochidani san and Nozomi giggle and chat away happily. It's always lovely to see two pretty girls getting along with each other. I take a mental snapshot of the scene before me. Okay. Are you here to pray for safe childbirth or something? <laughs> no, I just mean I hear people coming to Aikawa trying to pray for that sort of thing, so... Yeah, I would imagine they don't just have charms for childbirth. I would think that's kind of weird. Like, who would Natsumi be getting it on with? Okay, okay. Hey, don't pull me like that. Okay. Nozomi brings out a tube full of sticks. I like that she's doing so much shrine maiden things now, it's lovely. It's an old wooden cylinder about 30 centimeters long and 10 centimeters in diameter. At the end of the one cylinder is a small hole. Passing around, everyone shakes the tube and pulls out a stick. Here, Nozomi, you draw one too. Oh, I don't see why you can't have your fortune read. Just do it. You don't want to be the only one without a fortune, do you? Those make us a tube of shape pulling out her own stick. Niku, meat. I guess you're going to be eating a lot of meat this year. That means you're going to be having a boy, according to Steins Gate. The two younger girls start chattering away cheerfully again. Ah, uh, warms the heart. Never change, girls. From a nearby drawer, Nozomi produces a handful of numbered fortune slips and hands them out. Nice! Everything, wow. That's good. In other words, study hard and you'll get good grades. Alright. Sounds like she wants me to continue tutoring her this year. Alright, as long as Nozomi also gets to study with us. Nice. Two girls giggle excitedly again. Adorable. This will make another fine addition to my memories. I feel like that's a Star Wars reference. 
Looks like everyone's got fairly decent luck this year. Aikawa Shrine is pretty famous for having accurate fortunes, so I'm sure it'll be a great year for all of us. Maybe Nozomi's dance was even more effective than we thought. His is either gonna be him getting crapped on, and he's gonna have bad luck, or it's gonna be something about him getting married. Let's find out. I open it. I stare. Yep. I had a feeling his was gonna be terrible luck. Hey, give that back. That's personal information. <laughs> what a sinister font. Everyone peers down at my slip of fortune paper. What's the meaning of this, Nozomi? Whose idea was it to put such an awful fortune in here? I almost feel bad, like, speaking to the manager to complain about this. Bruh. If you're gonna do something like that, at least make it say outstanding luck or something. <laughs> Coupon for a free beef? Yes, that sounds delicious. <laughs> One in every a thousand. Quit messing around, Rokuro-san. So we got one in 100,000 luck. That's terrible. Absolutely. I noticed the girl slowly edging away from me. What am I, contagious? Wait, why are you guys avoiding me? Take a step forward. But they quickly take another step back. Hey! Did Kose, does it really say that? What? What? What, am I gonna die this year? The, the, the others look at me with pity in their eyes as they back away. Stop, don't look at me like that, I sob. Can't believe we got the worst luck in the game. My shoulder slump with depression knows me gives me a gentle hug. My honey, my one and only ally, I love you. I can't do the- I can do without the name calling though. Oh, okay, that's good. Her reminder lifts my spirits. I would think so. Yeah, I'm gonna tie it right away. But in that instant. Oh no, it disappeared! A sudden gust of wind blows my fortune there. In the blink of an eye, the slip of paper is carried far, far away until it flies out of sight. Uh oh. It's over for me. I hang my head in defeat. I don't know about that one. Why are you getting further away? Why are you disappearing? After the others leave, Nozomi and I return to our shrine duties. Alright, I'll continue patrolling the grounds. Oh, don't like that. No problem, honey. <laughs> ah, cringe. Don't like it. Notice me walks off with a bounce in her step. In high spirits myself, I began controlling, keeping an eye out for any problems or lost possessions. Set now on the road on the bike I bought with a loan. I'm in such a good mood I even catch myself humming a few lines from an old song I wrote. Hey, Rogoro-san, how's the leg doing? By now he's walking virtually unaided. Oh. Huh, well now that works. That's great news, please take it easy though. Does this be a result of Nozomi's dance lulling the butterfly back to sleep? If so, then Aikawa Shine should be safe for another year. Oh, okay, sure. I haven't told Nozomi's parents I'm dating their daughter yet. Oh, huh? did Nozomi tell you? Yeah, yeah, I think it's pretty obvious, honestly. Sorry I didn't mention it sooner. I lowered my head in apology. Thank you very much. His words touched my heart. I mean, having that giant butterfly around will dampen your mood a little bit. What? Uh, with all due respect, I might be a bit early for that. He's already talking like I've decided to marry into their family. Nozomi comes running over her feet, pattering against the ground. Nozomi 
そんなことより、ホーセイ君と将来の赤岩神社について話そうと思って。That he was. そんなことコーセイ君には話さなくていいの Keep trying to pawn off his shrine onto us. コーセイ君が大学を卒業したら、公務員になるかホワイト企業に勤めてもらうんだから。Yeah, I don't think working at a shrine is that big of a, bad of a gig, you know? え、お父さんとしては、望みも見込になったことだし、It's a nice shrine, though. What do you mean? I'd rather like this place. Are you kidding me? I don't know. 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 Video already has 12,458 likes. Wow. You know, Nozomi, this might be your chance to become a famous shrine maiden YouTuber. Already monetized the video. <laughs> this dude's out here, like, I'm gonna make some money off you. <laughs> It's not. You look really cute. You make a successful shrine maiden YouTuber for sure. I mean, I'd be down. It's a lot of fun shining together like this, the three of us. I'm enjoying myself a lot, much more than I was during the days when all I had to, when all I did was to go to school. While I don't know about the whole taking over the shrine business, I definitely don't dislike the idea of spending more time with Nozomi and her family. Oh, not yet. I haven't done that. People say the same thing about their fortunes, too. Aikawa Shrine might be actually kind of amazing. Okay, we'll do that. Once Rogoro-san leaves, I pull out my wallet. It won't hurt to splurge a little every now and then. 500 yen, okay. That's a lot of money. A lot of good things happened last year, so I thought I'd show the gods a bit of extra appreciation. Those who wraps both her arms around me. Well, you know, don't make me say it. <laughs> you sure that's a lot of cash for you, isn't it? Alright, what are we gonna pray for, Nozomi? Uh... I don't know. I think it's not too much of a secret. Probably something like, please let me together with my wonderful boyfriend forever and ever. <laughs> well, that's exactly what it was. Hey, don't ignore me, Nozomi-san. I heard they tossed my coin in the offering box as well. After ringing the bell, Nozomi bows her head in reverence. Unfortunately, I can't really hear what she wished for. Well, it doesn't matter. I, uh, huh? Nozomi, look out! Uh-oh. The fallen bell lay exactly where Nozomi had been standing moments before. Are you okay? A little ominous? Let out a sigh of relief as I hold Nozomi. I shudder to think what might have happened if that heavy bell landed right on top of her. That's scary. Huh? I didn't really do much. I called out to warn her, but I wasn't quick enough to pull her to safety. Or so I thought. Something caught Nozomi after she left out of the way herself. Or did I? I can't really be sure that will happen so fast. Yeah, we need to do an inspection around here. Why is everything falling down? Good idea, we should at least find a temporary fix for it. Sorry for the inconvenience. Glad none of the visitors were around us when we were hurt. Or, none of the visitors were around to get hurt. Still, though, if I really do end up taking over the Aikawa Shrine, it's not going to be easy keeping this place in shape. The shrine isn't very big, unlike the one with a certain shrine princess. Those who's right about this place being tiny, however... Gosh, I don't know how you remember all those names. Nozomi's dance yesterday really was something to behold. Naturally, it wasn't perfect, but it was... What's the word? Soothing. 
That's right, watching her dance put my heart at peace. To be honest, I'd love to see her dance every year, but I'm certain many other people feel that way as well. That's why I want the Aikawa Shrine to remain open. Looks like I'm actually starting to consider it. I'll try doing some research into what it takes to run a shrine. For the longest time, I had no idea what I wanted to do after graduation, but finally, at last, I can see a path forward. Okay, so it looks like we still have quite a bit of a ways to go. Or at least, we still have at least another episode. I was hoping we could do it in this one, but I just, I don't know how Yuzusoft games work too well. Uh, I, I don't think Parquet is a very good example, because it's only like 10 hours or something like that. It's not as long. So, maybe finish it in the next episode? I don't want to promise anything, because apparently I don't know. And um, I guess we'll find out together. Uh, I have no idea. So, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed that got a lot of Nozomi content in, in this episode. I really like that. Uh, it was cool getting to see her do uh, the Shrine Maiden dance, and then we got to do the crepes, and lots of good stuff. Well, very good episode. I liked it a lot. So, anyways, guys, I will see you in the next one. It may or may not be the last one. Who knows? I have no idea. But have a good one.